CNN has retracted a previous report from its investigative unit that claimed that Congress was investigating a Russian investment fund with ties to the Trump campaign. Um, CNN has said that the story did not go through the rigorous editorial process that it should have. It relied on a single anonymous source. What was interesting was that CNN's Brian Stelter, who is their media writer, noted in his story that they're not necessarily conceding that the story is wrong, but they're saying that it, it did not meet their editorial standards and it should not have been ready to publish when it went out. This is sort of an example of the worst fears that a lot of people have about the competitive news environment that we're in right now. I and others have noted the sort of newspaper war going on between the Washington Post and the New York Times, but certainly other major outlets, including CNN, are getting in on that. And it's extremely fast moving and competitive and everybody trying to get the next scoop, even an incremental scoop like this one. When CNN determined that the editorial standards that they should have administered were not implemented in this case. They took very quick action. Um, they, they pulled the story offline. They disabled all links to the story from other places. Uh, they issued an apology to Anthony Scaramucci, who was the former Trump aide who was named in the story. Uh, and Scaramucci was pretty gracious about it, actually. He tweeted out and said, look, apology accepted. Everybody makes mistakes. I'm going to move on. And then, of course, the biggest step was that three of CNN's journalists submitted their resignations, uh, including a former Pulitzer Prize winner from the New York Times, um, who had just recently joined the network. And so it's an example of the very real consequences that uh, you know can meet journalists when they make a mistake. What it shows is that, you know, contrary to the popular fake news narrative where journalists are just fabricating stories left and right and getting away with it all the time, that's not exactly what happened in this case at all. In fact, uh, a story that uh, one could argue had fairly minimal consequences had very, very big consequences for the journalists. Um, and you know they're they're losing their jobs over it.